Hi there, my name is Stijn Niesen of the Royal Veterinary College. I'm a veterinary specialist and I run the Feline Diabetic Remission Clinic. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more about the blood glucose curve. We had some questions the last time um, about the blood glucose curve. And just to remind you, the blood glucose curve is a tool we use in the diabetic pet to figure out how well they are doing and also to figure out how much insulin to give. And what we do is we take a few blood glucose measurements during the day and track what the blood sugar is doing. So you often get a line like this, a curve as such. So some people say, well, once you have figured out how low the blood glucose goes, and in this particular line, this would be the lowest point, why don't you then in future, rather than taking all these points during the day, get the animal back at that lowest point only. Because this lowest point is one of the most valuable points of the whole curve. It tells us that we can or cannot go higher with the insulin dose. If this point is reasonably low already, we don't want to increase the insulin dose anymore. Um, so why don't we just take a spot blood glucose test at the time that we expect this lowest point to occur. And just to give you some VET vocabulary, this lowest point of the blood glucose cur uh, curve we call the nadir, the N-A-D-I-R nadir. Um, now, so this is a practice that we have seen VETs practicing across the globe, but we caution against it. And why do we say that? Well, if you actually would take this curve and find out that on the Monday, this particular diabetic pet is having this lowest point of the blood glucose curve, let's say at six hours after the injection of insulin, then if you would get them back on the Tuesday and you would not change anything whatsoever, the mere fact that we've got a different day, we will see that very often that the glucose curve is different. Okay, so this is a phenomenon quite nicely described in veterinary research, which we call interday variation or variability of the blood glucose curve. So if we then had only checked the same point at six hours, we would have concluded wrongly that we could have increased the insulin a little bit. But in fact, if we had also checked the point earlier on in the day, we would have figured out that the nadir had occurred earlier and the glucose was in fact lower. So had we not done that and had we only focused on this point, we might have increased the insulin dose and caused this earlier point to go even lower and cause a dangerous hypoglycemia, which is a fancy word for low blood sugar. And low blood sugars can be deadly. So this is why if we're doing a blood glucose curve, we should do multiple points during the day, even with some insulin types that are proposed to be more stable, like glargine or datamir. Um, so that's the lesson for today. Please do not practice nadir checking. Do do a full blood glucose curve if you want to find out how low the blood glucose actually goes. Thank you very much for your, your attention.